Hello and welcome back to Roll for Damage. Today I'm going to make an alchemist table. Uh, I belong to a Facebook group and there is a guy in that group that does some amazing alchemist tables. However, he doesn't have gear set up yet to record his own video. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to give it my best shot. So we're going to start off with, these are called craft sticks and they're basically a one inch popsicle stick. You're going to need three two inch pieces. Uh, I'm going to take a screwdriver or some kind of carving tool and just carve in uh, individual slats, like three, three or four boards, and then give it some wood grain texture. And then I'm going to cut one of those pieces directly in half down the center. Next I'm going to grab four tiny beads and I'm going to glue two atop each other so I'll have two sections. And I'm going to use these as basically um, holders to hold the shelf. Um, so I put that half popsicle stick that I cut, that, that one inch stick, and I'm going to glue those on top. And that very top piece, that's called a skinny stick. And all this can be purchased from the Dollar Tree. So there's the second piece. And we're going to measure down one inch and then a half inch. So we're basically just going to take a half inch section out of that two inch popsicle stick. All right, we're gonna slide that into place. That way it has a half inch overlap on our table. And we're gonna glue it. Uh, I use PVA glue, but whatever works for you. All right, so for my actual boards that are gonna go under my table, I grabbed two, uh, two of the skinny sticks. I glued them together along the seam. And before I went any further, I went back and added some more PVA glue just to fill in that gap a little better between those two, uh, those two tabletop pieces. All right, and the third one, we're gonna cut in half and glue together. So I'll have a double thick one inch square. I'm gonna trace out our little pattern. This is um, influenced by Skyrim. And then I'm gonna take my wood burning tool and I'm gonna just slowly burn that, that grid, the, the little grooves out. And for the actual dots, I just held my, my uh, wood burning tool vertical and just turned the actual square and it made a perfect circle. So there it is completed. And I glued that to the section and for um, that back piece, that was actually a discarded button piece that I had, just happened to find. Uh, and I'm going to use that to hold one of my uh, bottles a little bit up off the table because I, wanted, I want that to rest above the uh, two inch, the, the, the double thick one inch grids that we made. So this is me just trying to figure up a setup of where I want kind of bottles to be and, and how to go about doing it. Um, what I do know is I'm going to use this spring for the little wires, the little classic curly Q wires that uh, could be seen in most alchemist pictures. Um, this is the actual inside of a pen. Um, so I just took apart a pen, pulled out the spring inside it, and it, it basically just slides over um, that little plastic piece. And if you haven't watched my last video on making bottles, that's, that's just a thumbtack. Um, that, that I'm gluing on top of that, that green bead to give it that bottle top uh, appearance. All right, so what I did with that spring was I cut it in half and then I just stretched part of it out because I, w I want that tube or the end of the spring slash tube to rest at the center of our alchemy table. So here I'm just trimming it a little bit more And this is basically just for measuring purposes. You could always manipulate that spring, it's just metal. Um, but for, you know, I just wanted to be close enough. All right, so now that our two popsicle, or our skinny sticks, I'm sorry, are glued, I'm gonna go ahead and trace out uh, the space I need for the border. Uh, and I know this is going kind of fast for you, but I left enough gap 
um, that way I'm not overlapping sticks, that way they fit inside each other, uh, as you'll see. Um, if you if you have the patience, I would recommend using uh, PVA glue or you know Elmer school glue or something like that. Uh, I am not a very patient person, um, so I use hot glue for everything that I can. Um, not only that, I, I I like hot glue because it gives added weight, um, and, and that's something I, I like on my little miniatures. All right, now I'm taking the time just to take a flathead screwdriver. And I'm going and peeling all the excess glue that squishes out when I put the pieces together. It just gives it a finer, detailed um, look in the end. Like, you, you don't want to see hot glue just sticking out, oozing out. It just looks sloppy. There's our base. So we have it primed black, and I'm going to give it just one base coat of bark brown. And uh, I just, for some reason, I just love the appearance. Usually, I, I, I tell everybody like multiple colors, multiple coats, but for some reason, I just love the way this color looks on flat black. Like that black pulls most of this paint within it, and then at that point, um. It just kind of gives it its, its own color and texture, just uh, just as it absorbs this brown. Uh, and you know, I, I figured that a lot of things would have been spilled on this table. It's not going to be nice and pretty. It's going to be worn and and just have that that old, dull look to it. Um, so before I went any further, I actually put a black wash on it, uh, and then I went back with a dry brush, and then just kind of skimmed the inside of those boards. Uh, just to bring that vibrance back to the inside of those boards away from the actual grooves so there's no additional paint it's just a uh, it's just removing some of the black wash all right in the back uh, I kind of skipped this step in the tutorial I'm sorry uh, that is the actual clicker on the inside of the same pen I cut off the top of it I glued that to the shelf and then I got uh, my dark green bead with our bottle glued to the top of it from our last tutorial and I have the spring on top of that and then this is two of the same beads that I'm going to use for uh, the bead that goes onto the alchemy table into the to the you know to the what is that called polygon um, but anyway, I have a skewer through both of them just to keep them sh uh, vertical and together and straight. And I actually hot glued those also together um, just to make sure it's solid. I'm going to take another one of our tack, thumbtack bottles. I'm going to glue that to the top of those double beads. And some of this is off camera, I apologize. Uh, I was just trying to stay focused on the table. Uh, just so you can see it at full detail. I'm sure you know how to hot glue a bead. I wasn't satisfied with the position I had it. It was a little off kilter, so take two. Straighten that up. We'll let that sit and dry for a minute. We'll put uh, additional spring. While I was trying to connect them together, it uh, it it blew that other bottom piece off. Um, so I went and applied extra hot glue and you see how it oozes out out of the sides We're gonna go back later and clean that up. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that I had a full grasp on the actual board So I apologize for that step, but you know, that's part of the crafting process um, 
I was going to edit it out, but I figured, you know, hey, you know, we all make mistakes, and sometimes it's good to watch somebody else make one. Okay, anyway, so I have that glued. Uh, see, I have my little spiral into the insides, and now I'm only, all I'm doing is just taking these small glass beads. These are also from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just adding little small details to the beakers and the, and the bottles. Yeah, I'm, I was having difficult with... Uh, trying to connect these two bottles with a long glass bead. Um, it was a little bit too short. I apologize, my hand's in the way. Um, but it was giving me the hardest time, and then I realized that I wasn't touching one side of the bottle. I only had it on, on one of the beads, so I had to find a longer piece, apply some new glue to it, and then, uh, then I was able to touch both sides both beads and then I, I got it in place and I'm sorry but uh, but that's all I was doing was just putting it from one bead to the other all right now I'm taking uh, a paper clip and I'm just dabbing some of that gel super glue and I'm just making sure that it has contact Now I'm going back and I have some of these gold glass beads, um, also from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just tapping them to that gel and then tapping them to the bottle. <laughs> yeah, those things were uh, playing with tiny stuff, huh? It kind of gets you sometimes. Now, I apologize for this part, because then I realized I put the gel in front of the camera, and then it, it uh, focused on the actual gel bottle, um, and not the table. But what I'm doing is, I'm gluing some of the bottles that we made in our previous episode to the table at random, just spots. Uh, that's when I realized, I was like, wait a second. So, I'm sorry. Um, and all we're doing is, I'm just tapping it, just barely tapping. Uh, just enough just that I know there's glue on the bottom of it and then I'm putting it there and then my phone died and I kept going not realizing but anyway uh, I printed out a scroll and uh, a few spell pages from from the internet and I just shrunk them down printed them out on cardstock rolled them just like you see me doing here for that long one and then I spread it back out and then I glued it and then I'm going to use this one as like a halfway open scroll. And we'll put this one up top and glue that as well. I'm just going to make sure that it's, it's down where it was glued. Let me go back and add an additional page to that one that's on the bottom layer. Alright, here's uh, one of my acorn tops. I found a, the, a really small, well-shaped one that I could. Um, you know, no alchemist table is complete without a mortar and pestle. So uh, I decided to, to put one on the table. And that, like I said, that's just a small acorn cap. And here is a little tiny piece of a toothpick that's cut in half lengthwise, just to give it that narrow appearance for uh, I'm not sure which, which side is which, the mortar or the pestle, uh, but whatever side the stick would be. Uh, I'm going to add PVA glue to the inside, and then I'm taking some of this rock sand that is also from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to put just a little bit in there uh, just to give that actual glue some kind of texture. 
And then I'm going to push that in around the stick. And then I got kind of nervous and I'm like, well, I want it to be charcoal or, or something that's being pressed and, and beat uh, into this bowl. But I don't know if that glue is going to thin out enough for that to be uh, visible. So I went ahead and I applied uh, a little bit more over the top of it. At least I made half of it, right? All right. So I went back on the table. That is a glow-in-the-dark paint that I put inside the, the polygon. Polyhedral, rather. Um, that way, when I turn the lights off, like such, you know, the actual alchemy table will glow as well as those little bottles. Um, they weren't fully charged, and it's not the brightest of, of um, glow-in-the-dark paint to begin with. So, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, if y'all have any questions or feedback or uh, need to know how I did anything else, please let me know. Uh, again, thank y'all for watching, and I will see you next craft.